Hey, tomorrow we'll be celebrating my wife and I for a 10 year anniversary, and I want for you to come as well. It's been a long time now, Bryce. Congratulations on being married for 10 years and all that, but I'm really sorry. Tomorrow I have some plans that might get in the way of things. And Grayson will be busy with work and things like that as well. Huh? Who do you think you are, Julie? Um... Are you alright? Your brother-in-law is asking for you to come to this get-together. So, you should know better to put anything ahead of my plans in terms of being important. You are my little brother's wife as well, so... You saying that you won't be able to come to a family event is out of the question. This is why you're like a complete stranger to me. Not even Grayson was able to get himself a proper wife, I see. I don't even want to be seen here texting some woman as useless as you are either. But I had no other choice but to contact you since he can't seem to take a simple look at his phone. Actually, Grayson has been really busy lately, so it's a good thing you contacted me about this. If not, we would have never even realized it was your guys' anniversary or anything like that. I know that we won't be able to come, but we can still send you and your wife a present or something in the mail as a way of showing our happiness. Jeez. He's not even willing to worry about you anymore because you're such a waste. I'm a waste? How does that have anything to do with what I said? I'm talking about the kind of person you are to Grayson. But it's not like I really care since he himself is a completely lost cause. What? Compared to me? Everything he tries to do just lays in the shadows of all the amazing things that I've been able to achieve. That's why I can say he's a lost cause. And since he's married someone like you, that only worsens his image. Or maybe it's the other way around, and you've only ruined your own image more by marrying him. Can you please stop talking poorly about my husband? He's your little brother as well, and you are far too old now to be talking about him like that. I'm the older brother, so I can go ahead and say whatever pleases me. Stop getting so pissy with me for just saying the truth about you both. And please, tell me, what about my brother do you like so much? Like, honestly. That guy's barely got a brain of his own and is a complete loser. There are many things I love about Grayson, and all of them I won't say to you because you'd never understand them. Let me ask you this. Are you being pleased by him during the night? I'm sure he's not that great in bed. And that's why you're always pissy with everyone. Bryce, that is not okay to ask a woman about. For the time being, we are not going to be able to make it to your get-together, okay? If you have nothing else to add to this conversation, then I'm going to say goodbye. Huh? I've told you that you don't get to say goodbye to someone like me. And you are going to come to this party to celebrate us. We are going to be having filet mignon here, so come with an empty stomach. If you cancel on us, then I'm going to have you both paying for your wasted food. It's costing over $300 a person for this party. $300 a person? You guys really made sure to get only the finest food to celebrate 10 years then. And that's just how important my wife and I are to this family. So you better both be there. Cancel all those other plans of yours and make it to this party. I'm telling you right now that that is the right thing to do. Understood. I suppose it would be a bit rude of us to not come and celebrate 10 years of you being with your wife. And that's, what you, and that's what you should have been realizing from the start. Things would have gone by a lot quicker had you just said yes to my invitation. You really are stupid. But I guess that's to be expected from a woman that married my brother. Ah, and I'm just going to let the both of you know now that I'll be having the family's vinegar used in the recipe for the fillets. So don't be bringing any crazy condiments to put on such delicate foods. This family makes the best vinegar around, and you need to appreciate the fine taste of it for once instead of the crap you and my brother must use. Hey, leaving that seat I reserved for you like that is completely out of line. We are finally starting to enjoy this celebration with everyone, so why are you heading home now? You think I wanted to sit in that seat to celebrate you guys? Tell me how I was supposed to join you all in that celebration from there. You were just supposed to sit there and celebrate my anniversary to my wife. No matter where your seat is, you can still celebrate us with the passion we deserve. Why are you getting so upset about it all? I canceled all my plans to be here today to celebrate you and your wife being married for 10 years now. But when my husband and I came in to eat with everyone, we realized there was no food prepared for us. And then you told us to sit in the back and use some cardboard boxes as tables and chairs where we could only ever have water and while everyone else had steaks. 
Of course the two of us would be furious with you right now. And to only make things worse, while my husband was trying to sort things out with the family, you came up behind me and poured vinegar all over me. What the hell did Grayson and I do to you? Oh, come on now. You just happened to get the wrong idea from all of that. I never said before that I'd have food or anything ready for the two of you when you arrived. And this is why I hate idiots like you two. You only care about yourselves and will do anything to make sure that the situation is about you. And you told me that you didn't want only water for the dinner, and that's why I came to let you drink that vinegar. You should be thankful for that. After doing this, why do you think it's okay to still laugh at us? Why? Because I'm having a ton of fun. Isn't that great for me? Yet you're still going to complain about finding your use in this world? Are you sure you don't need to visit a doctor over your head? I think it's time you head to the hospital and get yourself checked out. I think it's time to head... I think it's time you head to the hospital and get yourself checked out. They will at least be able to tell you what kind of mental disabilities you two have. Today is the day of my 10-year anniversary and we will all be eating filet mignon. But like I was trying to make clear to you before, those that are not family will only get to drink water and vinegar. Bryce, this is the end of me funding you. I really cannot take talking to your brother like this anymore. I can see now why you really hate his guts. He's gone and pissed me off so much by the way he acts that I told him I'd no longer be funding him. I didn't want to make things worse for your family, and that's why I've been trying so very hard to ignore everything Bryce does. I'm sorry. But haven't you say that to him for me? Thank you, Julie. I'm taking our clothes to be cleaned at the dry cleaner, so on my way home I'll pick up something to eat for dinner. Also, I should really be the one apologizing to you. Because of me that you had to be at that stupid dinner and deal with all of my awful family. You, you don't have to apologize. I know you told me before that you did never want to deal with any of your family ever again, but I continued saying we should at least try going. I assumed they couldn't really be all that bad of people, but I made the wrong assumption this time and I'm sorry. We could have just stayed home and avoided all of this. No. Had we stayed home, Bryce would have only escalated things further. And I've got to say that filet mignon he had served to everyone wasn't even that great, so I'd say in total the dinner per person wasn't more than maybe $75. I think the only reason he was saying the food would be $300 a person is so that if we didn't end up going, he'd have a reason to ask us for that amount and get it. What a dick. All of my family are those kinds of jerks. I've always wanted to cut ties to all of them, but never actually got around to acting on it. But the fact that this time, it wasn't only me that got hurt, but you as well? I will not let this go. If I'm not able to find some way to teach those jerks that what they've been doing is wrong, I'll never be able to sleep at night. Thank you, Grayson. I'm in the same boat as you now. After what happened today, I'm no longer going to be such a nice girl to all of them. I already knew about how your brother's been a real pain in the butt for you because he's getting the house and the company from your parents. And I've heard all about how much he's bullied you ever since you were a toddler. But being able to see firsthand this time just how awful of people your family is, I can no longer sit by letting them get away with that crap. Julie? It's easier to just cut ties to one another. But I really want all of them to have a taste of the crap they've all been feeding you for so long. Or else even I won't be able to get a good night's sleep. I'm going to make them regret ever acting like children all these years. This time we're all going to be going out for high-end sushi. We'll all be getting together at 10 o'clock, so you'd both better be there. We have no plans of going. Excuse me? You're my little brother's wife and would not talk back to me. You were just the kind of low-life scum that I'd assumed would marry my brainless brother. I'm not sure how many more times I'll need to explain this one to you, but you are the youngest wife in this family and will not say no to your in-laws. Honestly, I feel like you were better off being fertilizer. Next time you happen to gain a little bit of respect for yourself, maybe, maybe take yourself in to see a doctor. The fact that you were both as stupid as you are it's causing problems for the rest of the family and those around you. The only one who's stupid would be yourself, Bryce. What? Just... So you're really going to try talking like that to someone as accomplished as me? Who do you think you are to do that? 
With someone as stupid as you talking to me, I'm going to have to make myself very clear in order for you to comprehend the situation. I'm going to make you regret ever talking so poorly about my husband and for assaulting me. You're in for one hell of a downfall, you pile of garbage. Mm. You better stop it with all that tongue right now, you useless woman. You are nothing compared to me. Hey, you apply to me right now. You crazy witch. Bryce, it appears you finally built that dream house of yours, and so I'm here to congratulate you. I'm sure paying off that loan you took out is going to be very difficult for you, but I wanted to say for you to try your best. It's about freaking time you reply back to me, you rotten witch, and that just goes to show there is something seriously messed up with your head. I'm surprised you're even able to speak a language. Can you explain to me why you think I'm so stupid? The fact that you're even questioning my ability to pay off a simple loan is what makes you an idiot. My parents gave me this new house as a present, so there is no loan for me to pay off, nor is there one for them to pay off. I come from a family of very well-off business people, and so me having my 10-year anniversary means that they'll celebrate it by giving me this house. Only low-life people like you have to take out loans to pay for any kind of housing. Ah, so that's what you've misunderstood. Your parents are only happening to pay for the down payment on the new house. And when it comes to the loan for the place, they asked your little brother to handle it all for him since he has the ability to do so. Huh? But because of how you treated the two of us just the other day, we're no longer going to deal with that loan for you, which means we're not paying it off anymore. And we'll be sending all the loan's paperwork to you now, Bryce. W wait a minute. What the hell are you talking about? For a long time now, your parents have been coming to Grayson asking for him to lend them some money. Of course, he would always tell them no to their request, but they just kept on coming and coming. And at one point, they told him that if he wasn't going to pay for your new house for them, then he'd have to pay them for all the money they used raising him. For some reason, your parents came to our house late at night and said all that, starting all kinds of trouble. And that's totally fair of my parents to do. They were the ones to waste all their money raising some lost cause like him, so he needs to hand it back to them like the lowlife he is. Did you happen to pay your parents back for raising you? I'm the older brother, so I don't have to give them anything. Well, if that's the case, then we're not giving them any money as well. Also, your family is all a complete group of nut jobs. They've always come over to my house when I'm the only one around and force themselves to come in under some stupid reasoning. And then they'll start to yell at me for not being a good enough woman for all of them and that I need to get your brother to give them that money. They have done it plenty of times now, wasting so many hours of my life trying to get me to agree with them to hand that money over. They're all sick, just like you. No, what they're all doing is totally right. You are a stupidly useless wife, after all. Well, anyway, after having to deal with everyone in your family so many times, I finally had a talk with Grayson. There, we came to an agreement to give your parents the money, or at least pay off your loan for that house. However, based off what you did to us recently, we've reverted our stance on what we agreed to before. We will no longer be paying for your house. We're having all the documents for the loan sent to you and are changing the person responsible for payment over to you and your account. Huh? Why do I have to be the one paying for the house? You lowlife should be more than happy to pay for my house loan. It's your own dang house, so please pay for it. You'll be getting that company from your parents next anyway, so you should be able to pay off a simple loan on that place. Are you not aware that's how things should work? Well, if not, then that goes to show who the true idiot is. Excuse me? You're the rotten witch of this family, so you cannot talk down to me like that. Hey, why did the two of you not come to the celebration for my new house? You guys said you'd come and yet you never showed up. I had amazing food and everything ready for you two, and it all went to waste. I don't remember either one of us ever saying we'd come to your celebration. Stop trying to talk about this like we actually wanted to be there this time. Shut up. It's because of the both of you not showing up that two people's worth of food went to waste. So I want you over here right now to pay for that. I'm giving you an order. I'm not in the mood to listen to your lame orders. 
Also, we're going to be cutting ties to all of you, so trying to threaten us will not work in your favor. You're gonna cut ties to us? You're not the one responsible for making decisions like that. I can see that this conversation will get nowhere with a dunce like you. Give the phone to Grayson right now. That's not going to be possible. Grayson has had you muted for the longest time now, so he never had to see your calls or texts. Huh? That's why he never read anything you sent to him. It's probably been a half a year to a year now that he's never read any of your texts or answered your calls, right? We really thought you would have noticed something by now, but I guess not. But anyway, for a while now, Grayson has been getting ready to cut ties to all of you. What are you talking about, Julie? You think that Grayson would be able to cut ties to us? No freaking way. You think so? Well, even before I knew anything about you, I was getting all kinds of stories from Grayson about how messed up your family is. He told me about how your parents only ever care about you because you're the oldest brother and that the rest of the family soon followed in their footsteps. He's told me that when going back to your parents' house, nobody would even welcome him home and it was like he never was a part of your family in the first place. You think any of us wanted to acknowledge him being in the house? Not, be, not being able to get a single hello from any of us must have embarrassed the crap out of him. But that's what he deserves. Did you know that you can at least say hello or something to him to make him feel a little bit more like a part of the family? But no, you all just ignored him for years, which led to him becoming really saddened about being a part of you guys. And it's not only about him never hearing any words from you all growing up. I've also heard about how your parents would make him thank them for letting him go to school and leaving him at home all alone while you all went out to eat. It's hard to believe there's a family in this world with the nerve to do something like that to one of their kids. And what does any of this mean to you? He's not your little brother or son, so this has nothing to do with you. You can just keep your mouth shut, you stranger. Also, it's not like he was home very often anyway back then. So, if he was never going to be around us, why should we care about taking care of him? And the reason he was never home was because of a very thoughtful couple in the neighborhood. They knew what was going on at your house and would take Grayson in a lot of the time to enjoy his life with them. Grayson's told me that he views that older couple as his parents more than his own mom and dad. You guys are like nothing to him. And if you'd like proof of that, do you remember our wedding? Of course you don't, because you only invited that older couple to be there as his family. He never invited any of us to his wedding? How are we supposed to care about him when he doesn't even care about his family? He is a totally screwed up idiot. He needs to be locked away in some mental asylum for that. I believe it's all your guys' faults for things ending up this way after all the crap you'd given him. But that's just my take. The only reason Grayson hasn't blocked all of you yet and has left you all muted is because he's afraid blocking you all will get you guys to realize what's happening. And then you might try and do something bad to him for cutting ties to you all. After a year or so of him never even talking to you guys, your parents still had the nerve to come ask him for money? I can totally understand now why he doesn't want any of you in his life anymore, because I feel the same way now. I have no idea what you keep going on about. You're just his little pet wife and you need to learn when not to bark. I'm totally on board never talking to any of you ever again. It would have been crazy of me not to get all upset at you after what you did during that party for your anniversary. And to think that Grayson has been treated like that all his life, it's freaking infuriating. I don't give a crap about how your stupid little head feels about all of this. Give the phone to Grayson. I'm tired of giving up all my time for someone who never graduated from preschool. Grayson is not going to want to talk to you, and we are no longer your family as we're cutting ties. Goodbye forever. And of course, as for the money we were going to pay for your loan, it's stopping. So now all of you can use whatever money you earn to pay for your own dang house. I'm not playing games here. I've had enough of your lip. So give the phone to that god dang freak right now, you mentally challenged idiot. Bryce, can you give it up already with all this needless crap? We moved houses in order to not have to see you guys anymore. Now you're following Julie to her work trying to stalk her back home? It's because of you that Julie is really scared and at work she gets asked all kinds of questions from her coworkers about you. Leave my wife alone, you jerk. 
you're finally going to come out and show yourself to me? You're late to my party, bud. The fact that I had to go through all of this effort, even making your wife feel in danger to get you to talk, just goes to show how freaking stupid you really are. Tell me what the hell you want from us. Hold on a sec. You don't know why I want to talk to you? All of that money that was used to help you have a good life was all for nothing. So I want you to pay the family back $1 million for that. Ah, and on top of that, I want you to pay for causing me all this trouble and for you and that dog of yours to hand me the house that you have. If you don't do it right now, we're going to take both of you to court. However, if you do give us all that I've asked for, mom and dad will forgive you and will allow you to finally help out with the family business. That's a pretty good deal, right? Who would actually want to work at that falling apart vinegar business? It's not falling apart. It's just that right now the place isn't bringing in as much money as it used to before. You have no right saying it's only because the company's not making as much money. The reason for that is half of the staff there leaving for another vinegar company that treats them all better. At this point, even a child would say you guys' business is done for. What? Why do you know about something like that? If anything, I probably know more about it than even you do, considering I'm the one that hired all those workers. Huh? Wh what do you mean by that? What does that mean? Right now, I'm the one running the vinegar company that is currently rivaling your guys' place, or was rivaling it. Now my company has won, so there isn't much competition with you. How could some brainless idiot like you be the owner of any company? There's no way in hell. Go ahead and not believe me, but it's the truth. You can even take a look at the homepage for my company and see for yourself. My name is there at the bottom of the page where it'll tell you all about the owner. I had a look for myself. Your name is in fact written at the bottom. I'm sure you just ended up getting that company when the owners jumped ship due to it failing, right? If you want to call yourself a rival of my company, then at least understand what's going on within my company as well. The business that I currently own is part of a franchise that I happened to start working for a while ago. Then tell me how the hell you managed to become the owner of it. You have no right to be in that position, you lowlife. When I could no longer find myself a home to live at anymore with you guys, I was taken in by the owner of this company. Huh? And from there on, I was raised by him as though he were my own dad. We knew that after high school, I wouldn't have had the money to go to college or anything because mom and dad never cared enough to save any money for me. So in order to start forming a proper man out of me to take on his company later, he asked that I begin working for him right away. The man looked at me with the eyes of a father and told me I was like his true son and wanted to make sure I was ready to have his company when he was ready to retire. What the hell? This is just some stupid story. You don't have any of the skills needed to be a CEO, so stop trying to make me believe a story like that. I'm not lying to you, Bryce. It was actually a lot harder than you think to work for a company as the employee who slated to become the next owner of it. That's why after high school, I was never around the house anymore as I was always with that kind couple, studying all kinds of business techniques from my old man, as well as working in the company to get proper experience. And so freaking what? The fact that you're saying you took my employees from dad and mom's company is totally screwed up. You did all of that out of your hate for us, didn't you? I did not. As I told you before, those employees did not like working there for you guys. And you guys should be aware of their complaints, right? What complaints? For a while, I actually really did want to work with you guys in the family business, even though you all treated me horribly. But after talking with a lot of your workers, I learned some things that really put me off. A lot of them wanted to quit their jobs there and told me that if they had a place to start working for right away, they'd leave. So I asked the old man at the time if it'd be all right to hire more hands. And that's when I asked all of those that didn't want to work for you guys anymore to come to me. What? When did you do that? Oh, I never noticed anything like that happening, though. I wasn't going to do all of that right in front of you and everyone in the family's eyes. I went there one day disguised as a customer and handed off my business card to those that didn't want to work there anymore. Yeah. And the following day, I started to get plenty of calls from all of them asking to join me. Not only did your guys' company lose a lot of customers over time, but in one quick swoop, I was able to get a lot of your unsatisfied employees to work for me. I think you're going to have a rough time getting that company back on its feet now. 
I know you always wanted to make that company of mom and dad's huge after taking it over, but now, well, I can't even think of that company as a rival to mine. Shut the hell up. You took all the employees we had here. I'm going to sue you for all of that. Well, that'll have to come after a lot of these employees of mine finish suing you all for everything you did to them while they worked there. You and mom and dad really did a lot of messed up things there, and that made a lot of employees feel uncomfortable. You guys and your company are done for. Your company, the house you live in, mom and dad, you're all finished. You, hold it right there. I, I get it. I'll apologize for everything we've done to all of them. And I'll even give them all raises, as long as they all come back and work for me. And I'll tell mom and dad that you really are a good man now for you. My mom and dad are not the same as your mom and dad anymore. All you guys are, are strangers to me. And that means I'll never talk to any of you again. <coughs> Julie, Julie, my brother's company has finally gone bankrupt. I see. So they're all finally finished then? That's right. And thank God for that. That took a little bit longer than I thought to happen, though. But to think that all that happened because of you is amazing. The fact that not only were you the one that hated being around your old family, but so did many of the workers here really helped us win this long battle. Well, all of those employees are like family to me now because we can all bond over what happened to us there. They're all just as much victims to my stupid family as I was. And that's what's really strengthened my company a lot. I've become an even better person because of it and I'll make sure this company treats all of them well. To think, to think, had it not been for my family all being complete cunts to me all the time, I would never be where I am today. That's a pretty difficult feeling to understand, huh? Well, yeah. But hey, you and I were both able to make it out of that awful environment your family had us in, and you've become a stellar CEO who can do anything now because of it. It's awesome seeing you take care of all your employees so well. And the fact that you were able to tell your old family to screw off is just... Well, it's amazing to me. I'm so happy that I married someone as strong and forthcoming as you are, Grayson. So please be happy for everything that's happened and forget about what your family did to you that got you here. Julie, thank you. By the way, when it comes to your old man, he and his wife are going to be having their 40th anniversary here soon, right? It's been a while since we've been to a good party, so do you want to celebrate with them? You've got a good point there. Let's go take them out with the rest of their friends and family and celebrate. Bryce and the rest of that family ended up losing their company and now owe a lot of money. They had tried many times to find some way to sell a lot of whatever they had left in inventory, but most of the customers they had no longer wanted their products because the quality had fallen so much in their rush to try and save the place. But that was not all for them as they now all needed to go to court, where they were being sued for all the horrible things they did to their employees. Like not paying them on time and having them work overtime with no extra pay. There were also those even more rare instances of the family threatening the employees with things like pay decreases and less time on the schedule if they became sick. Which did not sound very good to the judge in the courtroom. Because of all this, they began to owe even more money through both settlements to the victims and through heavy fines to the state. All of this is only putting them deeper into debt, and since all of their savings have been exhausted and they no longer have any income, they're pretty much stuck between a rock and a hard place. And since all of them are complete jerks about everything and to everyone, nobody is going to come and help them out with their struggles. Even when they go to banks looking for money to borrow to help with everything, they'll treat the staff horribly, leaving them kicked out of those banks for good. And so because of that, they're left with few choices and are most likely going to start having to talk to loan sharks and people like that. As for right now, they're planning to sell their home so that they have a little money to use for making payments. And then they'll try and live a life on the streets as a family. On the other hand, we have Grayson and his company, which is doing so well he's planning to open another factory up to make more vinegar and other condiments. And of course with that, he will gain even more employees who he can view as his family. He has a lot more people that he needs to care about, but this has made him even more energetic about his new job as CEO. And seeing him this excited over the growth of his company has made me feel excited for him as well. Hey Jillian, 
Are you coming back to the U.S. anytime soon? That's right. For right now, all the work I've had to do overseas is finished with, so I can come back to the States. But that won't be until next month, I'm thinking. Well, with that, you're going to be coming back to Mom and Dad's place, right? Well, I think so, since I still have a room there and all. That's depressing. I'm going to have to see you in person again then. Listen here, Jillian. Just because you're coming back from being overseas for a long time, doesn't mean you're just welcome right back into Mom and Dad's place. It makes me embarrassed having you back in this house together with me. I'm not going to do anything crazy while I'm there, so don't worry yourself too much. That's a lie. You've always been the kind of girl that thinks she can sit on her high horse and bark down orders to everyone, right? And I'm telling you right now that coming back from overseas to come live with your parents again is pretty lame. The fact that you can speak another language but still need to stay with your parents? So what are you going on about all of this for then? Tell me what you want to hear from me right now, please. I didn't want much from all this. I didn't want much from all this. I was just checking to confirm whether or not you were indeed coming back to the house again when you get back into the States. I don't really want to see your face at all. So I'm thinking I might get up and leave this place for good. Is that so? Well, as long as I'm able to come back home and see mom again, you can go do whatever you want with your life. <laughs> Trying to act all tough about your brother not wanting to meet you again? By the way, I'm going to be needing some more money from you again. What? So this is actually what you wanted to talk with me about? Who cares, Jillian? I've been taking care of mom for you this whole time, so I think I deserve some kind of reward for doing all that. I need the money to pay off all the things that I had to spend money on for her. So hurry up and send me that money into my account. Ugh, you're not up to anything else after I give you this money, right? I promise. I'll even make sure to pay you back for that money someday. So hurry this all up and make sure it's in my account for me. If you're late this time, I'm going to stop taking care of mom before you get home. So now you're going to threaten me by using mom as your hostage? Are you sure that's how you want to play these games, Chad? You should be thankful for everything mom has given to raise and support you all her life. It was her decision to have me and her responsibility to raise and feed me after that. So I don't have to be thankful for anything. You can go ahead and be thankful for my part if you really want to. But I was her doing and it was her job to care for me. However, me having to watch over her now in her old age is not something that I'm responsible for. So I'm only doing it as long as I get some kind of reward. I get that. I'll make sure to have that money in your account really soon here. So make sure for this next month you continue to take great care of mom for me, please. I'll do my best with her. Let's It, yo, it looks like you got that money into my account like I asked you to yesterday, but a thousand dollars? You have to be kidding me with that kind of amount, right? That is way too little for all I've done for mom. I'll burn through that kind of pocket change in an hour or so. You'll burn through a grand in an hour? What is with that phrasing? Do you plan to actually use more than that up in a day? What would you even be using it all on? I told you that taking care of mom has cost me a lot of money. And it's going to cost me even more this month. It's not about what I'm using my money on, but that I need to make sure that I pay off whatever debt I'm in. Hey, you're going to have to tell me specifically what you need all that money for, or else I'm not going to be able to understand where you're coming from here. I'm sure you love doing whatever you want with the money you earn, because you actually have a job that you enjoy doing and all that. But I've been the one left alone here at mom and dad's house for a long time now, having to take care of on my own. And that is not a job that I like to do. I can't do anything I want while I'm here with her. And I'm... I'm sorry about that, Chad. Apologizing to me is not going to change a single thing for me. I've had enough of this talk from you and want more of your money. I need at least another 3000 from you. If you can give me at least that much, then I'll be able to do something about mom. This is all fair in my books because you've been able to live your life the way you want to without ever having to care for somebody else. I understand that, Chad. <coughs> Mom, are you doing all right? Have you been feeling a lot better recently? I'm really looking forward to being able to come back home and see you next month. 
Jillian, I'm really looking forward to seeing your face again as well. I really want things to go back to the way they were when you and I could go out and have some fun together. But recently, my body has become really weak, and it's something I'm not too happy to have to share with you. You don't have to worry about any of that, Mom. It's none of your fault now, is it? But thinking back on the days when I was around a lot more, you'd always play catch with me in the yard like you were Dad. <laughs> That's right, and I was pretty dang good at it. But you were by far better than me because of your love for baseball growing up. I'd have to say I really sucked at it compared to someone like you. Actually, I'm really surprised I was even able to play catch with you because of how horrifying my form was when I threw. I was so bad at it, yet somehow I managed to throw a few balls to you without going out of control. You don't have to keep talking about yourself like that, alright, Mom? You did a great job back then, and it made me so happy seeing you play ball with me. I see all those memories as really fun and loving, yet you keep talking down about yourself like that. And it was your love for baseball that got you to where you are now, right? Your love for playing all the time on different teams eventually got you a job making baseball equipment and all that. How wonderful. You even bring your own glove with you as you travel around the world still, right? I don't ever really want to play for the pro leagues, especially since I'm a girl and they say girls need to go play softball and things like that. But I still wanted something to do with the sport and working for a manufacturer of the equipment was a great chance at that. And because of that, I've been having a lot of fun traveling for my job. But the fact that I have to be all over the world all the time means that I'm never home to see you anymore, and it's lonely. You don't have to worry about being around me. I want you to only be focused on your work so that you can enjoy the opportunity you've been given. I don't have many more years left in me anyway for you to be worrying about me. Wait a sec, Mom. Stop saying things like that. Seriously. You still have many more years to live your life for, and I want you to be around me until I reach your age. I need you around me. And that leads me to ask, has Chad been taking really good care of you, Mom? Yep. He's been doing his best to take care of me while he's in the house. What do you mean by that? I'm asking you if he's doing a good job of taking care of you or not, at all times. Don't worry about it, Jillian. I honestly don't really like forcing other people to take care of me all the time. And both you and your brother are very busy people with your own lives, right? Hold on for just a sec, though. You've actually got me a little worried about things there now. By the way you're making things sound, it's leading me to believe that he's not really doing a thing for you right now, right? It's not like that at all right now. Everything here is fine, so you can stop worrying about me. Anyway, you still have a bit of work you have left to do, right? I want you to have everything finished by the end of the month so that you can get back into the States on time, alright? You understand how I feel about your work, so please focus on that for now. I want you coming home to me soon and with a huge grin on your face when you do. I'm so looking forward to it. Sure. All right, then. Hey, what the hell is going on with you? Right now, Mom is in bed, and she's not waking up to me at all. I just went and called the ambulance for her a second ago, but... Right, I'm leaving Mom with you now, so please take great care of her. I've had enough of that woman, so I'm getting out of here. What are you saying, Chad? Where the hell even are you right now? You're asking me? I'm in Hawaii right now. I'm in the middle of a vacation out here. And even when I'm back to the state, I'm not going to be coming back to that house. We'll be going to another city around there to live. So you can go ahead and take care of mom for me, please. Ah, ah, and I'm never coming back to either of you again. So you just left mom here while she's sick all by herself to go to Hawaii? Well, you're back home now, so what does any of that matter to me? Starting today, you're the one in charge of taking care of her. You understand that now, right? Let me ask you this. Where did you even get the money to go on vacation to somewhere like Hawaii? You always complained to me about how you never had any money because you had to spend it all on mom, right? Well, now that I'm able to go on vacations like this, I might have to thank you for finally coming home to mom. Man, I've always wanted to go somewhere cool like Hawaii, but 
I've never had the time to do it. But you understand that having to travel to far away tropical places can cost a bit of money, right? So I kind of had to end up relying on you for the money. Look, even mom really loves the ocean and beach, right? I'll take plenty of pictures for her while I'm here and have you put them all up around the house for her. So you're telling me the money I've given you has been put into that trip? That's exactly right. I used every penny of it to get us over to these beautiful islands. And we'll make sure that none of it is wasted for you. Uh, go ahead and start feeding mom some cheaper pre-made foods and things like that from now on to save your money. You are awful, Chad. How rotten is your heart that it's made you want to do something like that? Well, I had no other choice now, did I? I hated having to take care of mom all the dang time. And so my last resort was leaving her with you to go and have some fun. I was close to my breaking point already and actually really wanted to just leave her in that house all by herself forever. But that's when I heard about you coming home. Then mom and I will start living in her condo without you now. Hmm? We've already gone ahead and sold that old house of hers and we're going to move into her condo now for good. It's right on the ocean, which she loves, and she thinks it'll be a great place for her to settle down and spend her last years. Wait a minute. What condo are you even talking about right now? Since when did she get a condo? Mom has had this condo for some time after Dad passed away and left it with her. She's always wanted to live on the ocean, and Dad had planned to give it to her as a surprise when they both retired. But right before he passed away, he told her about it being built, and that she could move into it as a way of always remembering him. I've never heard anything about a place like that being owned by mom. She told me all about it when she found out, but we both decided to keep it a secret from you. Even mom knew that you never really cared about her, and she didn't want to give you something to latch onto her for. You're just lying to me now because I left you with the old bag, right? There's no way mom could ever have a condo when she barely has any money. And she would never, she would never dare keep that all a secret from me either. I'm sure that there were plenty of pictures in mom and dad's house of the place, though. Huh? Are you talking about that picture, that cute little blue house and that crystal clear water? That's just a freaking picture, you idiot. I'm sure it was just being sold somewhere and mom picked it up because she loves the ocean. Nope. That picture was of mom's condo. Honestly, I don't really care whether you believe me right now or not. Are you being serious about all of this? I am. And the two of us are going to be living in that condo for the rest of our lives, I think. Or at the very least, mom will be. Now, when you come back to town, I would be careful not to go back to her house since there will be neither of us there. I get it now. I'll apologize. I guess that I really did something wrong this time, didn't I? Well, I'm going to learn my lesson from this so that you can forgive me. Will that make you happy? Huh? What are you going on about right now, Chad? I never asked for you to apologize to me for anything, now did I? I'm just telling you the truth about what's going on on our end. As long as you understand we won't be at that house anymore and are moving into her condo, that's all I care about. Huh? So you're really planning on going with mom and hogging that condo from her while she's there? I'm not going to be hogging anything from her, actually. But I guess one could say that if they really wanted to. I mean, you apologized for what you did, so there's nothing left for you to do, right? I get it, I get it. I'll give you back the money that you gave to me. I'm going to start giving you back all the money I ever took from you, okay? Hmm, are you sure about that? Yes, I'll make sure of it, even if it's the last thing I do. I'd really like you to have that money back anyway. Well, if you're really willing to give me back that money, then I totally understand. I guess I will have it back. So if we put together all the money you've taken from me thus far, it adds up to $7,000, right? You're going to give that all back to me right now, correct? Yep. And in return for that, you'll let my wife and I live in that condo? Hmm, that's a good point. Well, I'll think about that a little, but I think you can totally have it if you want. What the hell do you mean? I'm asking you to promise me that place right now, or else I'm not giving you back a penny. I'm not kidding when I say I'll give you that $7,000 right now. And once I've done that, you'll let my wife and I live in that condo with you and mom. If you're going to start pressuring me that much like that, I might lose interest in taking that offer from you, Chad. I guess you giving me that money back isn't something you're doing from your heart, but rather a way to get this place to yourself, right? All right, all right, all right. I'll give you that money right now. All $7,000 of it. 
All right, I just sent it all to you, okay? Take a look at your bank account and tell me what you see. You really did it. I just got a notification from the bank saying I received a total of 7,000 from you. Well then, have a great time in Hawaii for me. Huh? Hold the frick up. Wait, what about that promise you and I just made then? Hmm? I don't remember making any kind of promise with you, Chad. I just happened to get all that money back that I lended to you before. And I just took a second to think about letting you live with us at this condo, and of course, I'm going to have to say no. Yo! Stop playing games with me. You're being a total jerk to me right now. I'm not going to let you get away with something like that. Yo! I'm the jerk. I'm not going to lose to someone that told me they needed money because they had none due to them having to take care of mom. Shut the hell up. Wait. I have the freaking right to stay with you guys in that condo. <laughs> Yo. Why the hell is the house totally empty now and there's nobody there? I just got back from Hawaii as fast as possible. I see. Well, while Mom was in the hospital being taken care of, I thought I might take the time to finish up with all our packing and everything. You can be back in a hurry, you said? Well, that's such a waste of all that money you spent on the whole trip. I've had it with you messing around like that. You tell me where that condo is at right now. I want to ask if you're even worried about how Mom's doing right now. I thought as her son, you'd be a little worried about your own mom when she told you she'd been admitted to the hospital. You tell me where that condo was at right now. I really don't care about her, so just tell me where the gosh dang condo is. My wife and I had to pay for the cancellation of all our plans to get back here as soon as possible so that we can get to that condo. So you really don't care whatsoever about how mom is doing right now. Who the hell cares about what happens to that old bag when she's literally days away from dying? I wanted to have that house left behind from her so that I'd never have to pay for it or pay rent. That was very shocking, Chad. Is that you, Mom? Are you with Jillian right now or something? I am with her. Your sister came to the hospital to see how I've been doing since I'm still in here. And because of all the gifts she brought for me, I've begun to feel a lot better and want to get out of here. Hey, Mom, come on now. Please. I'm your one and only son, right? I would really like you to let me move into that condo with my wife. I've been taking great care of you for a long time now, right? You should have some kind of thanks for me. Death's worth giving me the place, right? Not at all. I was able to hire myself a helper that's been around to care for me. I never asked either one of you to be around my house taking care of me after your father passed and you both got older. Yeah, but even if that is the case, I still lived together with you and helped out from time to time, right? You helped me? Was you canceling that contract I had with the helper without ever asking me your way of helping me out? Because of that, I slowly began to notice my health deteriorate. And at one point, I passed out only to wake up inside an ambulance with Jillian by my side. I'm really glad Jillian came back home in time to save me. Had she not been home to see me around that time, I'm not sure what would have happened to my lifeless body. The whole reason I canceled that helper's contract for you is because I heard about how Jillian was coming back home. It cost a lot of money to have someone in the house helping you like that, and I thought this choice would save you money. Yes, I can see that. You hated to watch as the money I have went to waste having someone home to watch me all the time, right? No, that is exactly what you meant by all that, Chad. I also know about how you were planning on selling my house as well. Huh? The other day there was a call at the house. It was from a realtor talking about my house. And I made sure to listen to everything they had to tell me about what you planned. What? I told that fool not to call the house phone, but my mobile. And you also had plans to sell my condo, which you told Jillian you never knew anything about, right? You think I want to live with someone who would do that sort of thing to my properties? You stop with all that selfish crap right now, okay? Hey, you have it all completely wrong, Mom. I just wanted to sell your old home and then move with you to an even better home where we could live together. Shut the hell up, you selfish son of a gun. I am not going to trust a single word you have to say to me anymore. 
I'm still your son though, right? Stop trying to only care about Jillian all the time and maybe give me some credit or something. You've always cared more about her and it's so annoying. All you care to talk about is Jillian this and Jillian that. So that's the way you've been thinking of things in this family? Yeah. You always acted like you never had to bother with me at all. You only ever wanted to cheer Jillian on because she has such good grades in school and I felt like I was left out of every single thing. And that's not all women. You always like to try and teach me lessons about everything like I didn't know any better. You know that for a fact, right? And the only reason I had to keep scolding you like that all the time is because you always continued to act like a fifth grader. You'd always go out to steal things you weren't supposed to and you'd try to shoplift as well at stores. It's because of all that that I had to put you in your place all the dang time. And every time I'd do it, you'd start to whine about how I only ever got on to you like that. I've always wanted to hit you when you acted up like that, but I knew better than to ever do that. But now that I think back on it, you might have learned your lesson had I done so. Well, that's not a lie, though. You... You only ever did things that are illegal and troubled others, hence why I always had to yell at you. And when it came to both you and Jillian, of course I started to put more of my time into her development. Honestly, I didn't really care how you turned out after years and years of trying to make you a responsible young man. Had you just listened to me the first few times, I wouldn't have had to talk down to you like that anymore and would have put more effort into you. Also, when it comes to my savings I had for the two of you, I left that all in Jillian in your hands, right? I actually still had a little bit of faith in you, and that's the reason I left you with the responsibility of taking care of your money in that account. But you went ahead and spent all your money playing around and things like that the moment I let you have control of it. Shut up, Mom. You want to know why I use it all up? Because you never once told me about that condo your dad gave to you. But you told Jillian all about it, right? You could ask her right now she knew. I had no reason to tell you about it, especially when you already knew and planned on selling both the house and it soon. And I told you what all that's about. I'm sorry, Chad, but I can no longer deal with a person like you. I hope you and Jillian can still get along with one another in some manner. Goodbye forever now. Yo. Can you get mom to stop acting like a total witch right now and let me get into that condo? If you don't, I'll totally be screwed. You're asking someone with the same idea as her to help you change her mind? I'm not helping you get into that condo when not even I want you in there. I'm not asking you to do this because you have to, but as a way of helping your brother out. You and I are still siblings, right? We have to be here for one another when nobody else will. You are not my brother anymore, actually. I no longer have any siblings because I've gone and cut those ties. You've always been praised by mom and dad, and that's why you act like a spoiled brat around them. You thought of yourself as their cute little baby that could do anything. You ran away from us to start working overseas. And since I've always been below you in your mind, you thought it was my job to stay here in this small town and take care of mom for the rest of my life. How much longer are you going to keep using that made up sob story to try and make everyone else feel like they owe you something? You always got a small allowance from me after I got my job, and you used up a lot of your own savings mom had for you. And if that wasn't all enough for you, you were then going to try and sell mom's house while she was still living in it? I think I have every right to look down on you now as a person, and so does mom. That's not it. Nothing like this should ever be happening to me. It should be, because you've always been doing things you should never even be thinking about doing. I actually had a dream for myself and made sure to put all my energy into achieving said dream. And that whole time I talk about that dream, you just sat there on your games saying I was trying to reach for the stars while laughing about it. How much longer are you going to keep crying about being the victim to your own games? I have done nothing wrong. You sold the house now yourself, right? Give me half of that money at least. I have every right in this world to get some of that money from you. I try to run away from you, and because of that, I don't have any house or money. So help me the hell out! No way, dude. I have no reason to help out trash like yourself. I mean, you'd never do the same for any of us, because all you care about is yourself and nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> my 
Mom? I just had to have lunch with one of my customers, but I'm on my way back now. And along with that, I'm happy that we finally moved into this new condo. Thank you so much, Jillian. I'm sorry that I've been sleeping so often that I was never able to help out with anything. You don't have to worry about that. Your body is a little weak right now, so there's no need for your help anyway. But from now on, I'll be in this condo with you taking care of all your needs so you can just sit back and relax for me. But are you really okay with this? What about your life at work? It'll be fine, Mom. I happen to be well-respected at work, and they think it'll be all right letting me take more time off to be home with you now. I was even able to get them to agree to allowing me to work from home now if I please. You really are just the best, Jillian. I'm so, so, so proud of you for all you've done. And that's all due to the effort you put into raising me this way. So I'm very proud of you, Mom. Jillian, thank you so much for saying such kind things to me. I really wish I could have found some way to change your brother's ways so that he'd be able to take care of himself more. I think the best thing we can all do for him now is not give in to his crap. He's even ran away from his wife now, too. So from now on, I think he's going to learn a lot more about the real world firsthand. That's true. I really hope he will learn from this world, though. Now, listen here, Mom. I don't want to spend the rest of my life having to take care of you. So let's work on getting you back into healthy shape so that we can go outside and play catch with each other again. <coughs> After that, Chad was left with no money and no place to call his home and had to live on the streets. He even tried with all he had to find out where my mom and I were staying, but in the end, he was never able to find the condo. We later learned that the reason why Chad wanted all that money from selling the house and condo was in order to pay off all the debt he was in. Apparently, both he and his wife loved to gamble, and that's where almost all of their money is gone. As of right now, he's been taken away by whoever he was in debt to, and we have no idea what's happened to him. After being stabbed in the back by Chad running away from her, his wife tried to rob an ATM but was caught by the police who took her away, which appeared on the news. But based on the condition she was in after being left by her husband, it doesn't shock me that she made the choice to try stealing money. As for my mom and myself, we feel really bad about what's happened to Chad and his wife, but at the same time, none of it was our faults. My mom is the one who's most sad because of it, but I try my best to make sure she finds something to occupy her mind. And I'll continue to do my best to help her forget about him, if it's the last thing I can do for her. Um, hello, can you bring me some more coffee? Hmm? You're asking me to do that for you? Who else would I be texting to do this for me besides you? <laughs> well, when it comes to the break room, you're a lot closer to it, Jane. So I feel that you can get up from your seat to grab some coffee yourself. How does that sound? Huh? What did you just say to me? Do you have any idea? Uh, um, well, I do happen to understand what I just said, and I wanted you to understand that as well. Listen, Irene, how many years have you been with this company for? Well, this time it's only been around six months or so, so half a year? Well, I've been here for a total of five years so far, so you should be able to understand the situation between us now, correct? I see. However, shut your mouth right now! I'm not going to ask you any more times to go out and get that coffee for me. But unfortunately, my lower back hasn't been too great recently, so it's a bit hard for me to always be getting up. <laughs> Please stop acting like you're some old grandma and get what I've asked from you done. Oh wait, I'm sorry. You actually are a grandma, so I guess that all makes sense to me now. Well, I guess you could say that. However, I'm only 62 years old yet. Oh, come on now. Coming from a 27-year-old like myself, you are one heck of a grandma being that age. <laughs> and I'd like to ask, what the heck is up with you joining our company as a fresh hire when you're already in your 60s? Are you in some kind of a relationship with one of the managers here or something? To me, the only way I can see a company like this hiring you at that age is if you had some kind of a connection within the office. No, I'm not a part of this company due to some kind of a connection. And now that we're on this subject, your father happens to be the manager for HR, right? What, what does that mean? 
Are you trying to say that I'm the one that was hired into this company due to connections? No, 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 that wasn't what I meant by any of that. I happen to be really good at doing my job, and when it came to applying for this job, I passed all the tests. And not just that, but I passed the top level compared to everyone else around me. Really? Well, that's pretty amazing of you, Jane. Also, when it comes to work, I happen to have a ton of accomplishments that make me stand out compared to all of you. And that means when I'm asking you to do something, you do it. And since you happen to be an old, fresh hire, <laughs> well, since you're a fresh hire, you need to listen to anything I tell you to do. So get me that coffee right now and bring it to my seat in the next five minutes. Um, all right. I'll bring it to you really soon. Jesus, why did the CEO have to bring in some old hag like you to come work for us anyway? I was told that they were the second in line to be the CEO and are one of the youngest CEOs around. But even with them being young, I'm sure they have little clue what they're doing hiring someone as old as you to work for us. <coughs> hey, Irene, are you planning to come into work again today? Yes, of course I'll be in today. I happen to have an important task to do from the manager, so I need to be there to get all of that work done on time. Really? Your way of working is so amazing. No matter what the job is that you're given to do, you put all your effort into making sure it's done on time and done right. Thank you so much for the compliment. You really happen to contribute a lot to this company. Yes, I'll always try my best to. And the reason I'm still able to work so diligently in my 60s is due to this company. That's why I want to show my appreciation to the company by always giving my best effort. Hmm. Well, then I happen to have a good way of showing them how much you're thankful to this company. Good way of showing my thanks? I have a really good idea that'll help you stand out even more. And what could that possibly be? You leaving this gosh dang company for good. Wh why would you think that's a good way for me to show my thanks? I've been working my butt off for this company as my way of showing my appreciation. You really don't seem to get it, do you? <laughs> This company is the leading company in making things like makeup and skincare products. And I am completely aware of that. But for there to be this ugly looking old hag working in this company, that's supposed to promote beauty and youthfulness. All I'm seeing by having you here is negative results. And I think it's time that you went out and found yourself a different job. <laughs> Why would you say that? I'm just trying to tell you the truth is all. No, no way. I'm not going to leave this company due to some reason like that from you. Then you'd better never go against anything I ask from you ever again, nor will you ever act like you know any better than me. Know any better than you? I'm saying that just because the manager and whatnot see you as a good worker doesn't mean you actually are one, as you're still nothing compared to an employee like me. Also, when there are any projects or jobs that seem to have a good outcome to them, I'll be the one looking over you while you do them so I get credit as well. This also means right before you hand those projects off to the manager, you bring them to me to review first. W why should I be doing something like that, though? I want to do the final check on your work and then hand that project in for you for a part of that credit. <laughs> I'm a really nice coworker to be around, aren't I? <laughs> what about that is nice about you? All you're trying to do is take credit for my work and then use that as a way to try and only make yourself look even better compared to everyone else here. Everyone here does things like this. <laughs> and if you don't decide to listen to me like the rest of them, who's to say what'll end up happening to you? <laughs> Are you saying all these things because your father happens to be the manager of HR? Well, you can probably guess the answer to that one. Anyway, for the time being, you are to do as I say. If you can do that for me, then I'm sure you'll be able to work for this company a little longer than I first imagined. But of course, I'm sure before you reach your retirement here, your life will say otherwise and you'll just keel over at your desk. <laughs> Brandon, are you able to talk with me for a little bit? Huh? Why are you getting in touch with me this time of day? I'm sorry that it's so early yet, so I'll try to make all of this as quick as possible. Alright then. Well, what do you have to say to me? 
You must know about the woman working in the same department as me named Jane, right? Ah, of course I know about her. She happens to be Fred from HR's daughter, right? Have you ever met with her before, face to face? I have, but that was years ago, back when she was still in college. Her father had me come along with him, and he introduced me to her at a dinner we planned out. And what about after she started to work for you? Well, I suppose I've met with her a few times now. But of course we are within the office when we met, and since I'm her boss, she really doesn't say too much back to me besides a couple of replies. How do you view Jane and her position within the company? You're asking me something like that? Well, I guess I'd have to say she's a pretty decent worker. Actually, she scored one of the top scores in our entrance exam coming into the company and happens to have a lot of achievements under her belt here. I mean, she has contributed a lot to this company, and I feel that she is due for another raise soon. It's amazing to see what she's been able to do at such a young age. <laughs> I knew you'd probably say something like that about her. What's going on with her? Did she end up doing something to you? Well, a little bit. Really? I've always, I always thought of her as a very well-received young woman. I knew I could probably tell you a few different things about her now, but I'd rather you take a look into her some more to see what I'm wanting to talk about. Do you want me to look at... you want me to look deeper into her? Yes, please. Um, well, I guess you're the one asking me, Mom, so I'll have to take a look now. Give me a little bit and I'll get back to you about her. Thank you so much, Brandon. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, how have you been otherwise? How does it feel to be back at work after 10 years of being away? That's a good question. I have to say that the common work ethics have changed a little bit, but all seems about the same besides that. I have to say that, that working now seems a lot easier for me than it did a decade ago. I think so. The company made sure to implement a lot of new tools into our system to make it a lot easier for all the employees to get work done here. And because everyone's been a lot more efficient, the amount of money we pull in every quarter has been perfect. That's what I've been hearing. How amazing. But just remember that not everything in this company is about the systems and the work efficiency of everyone. You might have a bad apple somewhere in there that needs to be worked on. Now, I'm going to start heading into the office. Make sure you yourself aren't too late coming in today, all right? Yeah, I know. Jane, you went ahead and handed in all those papers that I had written down without giving me any credit, didn't you? Oh my, what could all this be about? Don't play dumb with me, young lady. There are plenty of people in the office right now that said they saw you take those papers off my desk and write your name on all of them before handing them into the manager. Is that right? Can you tell me who all was saying they saw me do that? It doesn't matter who said they saw you doing it. Why are you doing such harmful things to me like that? I don't have any particular reason for any of it. I just happen to think that everything you do will end up being my benefit. And that's why at the end of your work, I handed in those documents. If you wanted all the credit for them, then maybe you should have been handing them in a bit sooner before I got to them. <laughs> what the heck? You've always been doing things like this while working for this company, haven't you? I have been. <laughs> That way, I don't have to do anything while I'm in the office and can still keep all my accomplishments up and have a great score to show my dad every month. <laughs> this kind of system I've set up is amazing, right? It's like I'm the boss of my own company within this company. <laughs> it's not amazing whatsoever. Actually, it's quite the opposite of amazing. Do you think I really have to listen to you? Because if I do, I start to get a little upset. And when I'm upset with someone here, I can go right to my dad and tell him all sorts of horrible things about them. Does your dad happen to know that you're already doing things like this to all your coworkers? I'm really not sure about that. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, he brags about me all the time, saying that I'm able to get way more work done than any of the other employees here. <laughs> You are the worst, Jane. So now that you're aware how my system works, you can continue to work for my benefit. All the other coworkers are doing it, so go ahead and fall back in line. What the heck do you think you're doing to your coworkers? All they are to me are little pieces in my game of chess. <laughs> and you're the same way to me. Just another piece in this game of chess that I'm playing to make it to the top. 
And if you don't continue to let yourself be used by me, then we're going to have some serious problems here. <laughs> I'd assume someone as old as you wouldn't be able to find another job after being fired from here either, now would they? So please, don't have any hard feelings about what you've heard from me today and continue to work your hardest for me. <laughs> so this is how you want to play. At least I have a really good understanding of what kind of person you are now. Can you talk with me right now? What do you want from me this time? Actually, I'm deciding what people to have on my team for next month's project where we'll work on developing some new products for the company. Right, I heard something about that the other day. And well, of course I'm going to be leading this team working on the project. And what do you want from me? Well, they happened to ask me to work on the plans for what we'll be doing for those new products, but I happened to forget all about doing that work. <laughs> and so, in my place, I'd like you to work on all that. I plan to send you all the resources I'm using by email right now so you can get a head start on it. W wait just a second there. They've asked you to be the one to make up all those plans, right? So why are you asking me to do it for you now? I have no other choice at this point. I was on vacation with my boyfriend for a few days and never had the time to work on any of that. <laughs> that kind of excuse is not going to fly in this company. You shut that mouth of yours. All you're good for is doing anything and everything that I tell you to do. When are these plans supposed to be due by? By tomorrow. <laughs> What? That's not a problem for you, right? You'll make sure they're all done for me by that time, right? I'll try my best. And I'll make sure they're done to a decent standard. That's what I expected from someone like you. I always knew you older people were too stubborn to let someone else's work be their own downfall, right? I'll make sure that when I'm handing in the plans for the projects that I put in a good word for you. I'm not doing any of this for your sake, Jane. I'm only going to make sure all these plans are finished by tomorrow for the sake of this company. <laughs> well, whatever it's for is fine by me. Just as long as you're able to get them all done by the time you come into the office. Jane, are you awake? Dad, why are you texting me at this time of day? I'm really busy right now getting myself ready for the day. You and I are finished. Huh? What are you even talking about, Dad? You stop getting yourself prepared for work today and listen to everything I have to tell you about. But if I'm late getting into work today, what will happen to me? That's not going to be a problem for you anymore. You are being punished by the company, and they are asking you to stay home for the time being. So there is no point in you getting ready to go into the office today. I have to stay home from work now? What does any of that mean for me? Tell me what I did to deserve something like this. The fact that you've been bossing all your coworkers around and threatening to do work for you has become a really huge problem here, and they don't want you in the office during the investigation. What the hell? I've been bossing everyone around and threatening them. I've not been doing anything like that. A lot of the people from within your department have started to speak out about how you've been harassing them. Are you going to tell me that this last project you were entrusted with working on the plans for, you didn't punch all that work someone else at the last minute? Th that's all. I, I would never do something like that. Well, not never, but I haven't been doing it all the time. But saying that I've been harassing other coworkers is taking things way too far. They're all my friends, and so it's totally fine for me to ask them all to help me out, right? As of right now, we are not sure about all the details just yet. But so far, what all we've been hearing about you from all your co-workers makes me feel really ashamed of myself for ever allowing you to come into this company. So far, it really does seem that you've been stealing everyone else's work off their desk and things like that and handing it in saying that you did it all by yourself? No, no, wait, uh, that's all... Dad... I'm tired of the excuses from you. At this very moment, I feel like I'm going to pass out due to all the pressure that's being put on me from reactions. I never thought that by having you work for this company, you'd be doing such childish things to all the employees. D dad you're going to make sure nothing happens to me, right? I've been trying to protect you this whole time, but you've gone way too far with all this crap in the office, and now not even I will be able to vouch for you anymore. 
But Dad... For the time being, you're going to stay at your house all day and not come in. And when any of the higher-ups begin to question you, if they question you, you answer them with nothing but the truth and, and no dang excuses. That is the one thing I'm asking from you for the time being. What the hell have you done to me? What do you want from me now? We're both in the office now, so you can just come to my desk and talk to me face to face, all right? You should be able to tell that I am not in the office currently, right? Oh? Well, now that you mention it, you don't seem to be at your desk right now. <laughs> Stop with all that crap right now. Do you know whose fault it is for all this crap happening to me right now? You told everyone that I've been the one bossing everyone around and harassing them, right? Well, of course I did say something about that. But the reason for all of this happening to you is because you wanted to act like a schoolyard bully. <laughs> You knew everything you were doing within the office, within this company, was not okay for someone to ever do, yet you went ahead and continued to do it anyway. And it seems that this time someone found out about it who has some power within this company and is making sure you're punished. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything wrong, though! Do you think me saying you've been harassing and bossing people around is saying too much about you? I was just telling the higher-ups all the truths about what you've been up to, and that's all. And the people that decided that what you were doing does require a punishment like the one you're receiving right now are the higher-ups. However, it does seem that for some reason you thought all of this wouldn't ever be that big of a deal for you, right? I want you to go to all of those higher-ups and take the blame or something for me. Then they can stop telling me to stay at my home and I can come back into work. Why must I ever do something as needless as that for you? Because I've asked everyone else in the office to do something like that for me, and they've all gone and blocked my number. Oh? So that's what they've been up to now. <laughs> well, then I suppose I must block your number myself as well. I'm a bit older than everyone else here, though, so I'm not really sure how to block your number. I might go and ask one of my coworkers if they can help show me how to do something so useful. <laughs> hmm. If you're going to play games like that with me now, then I'm going to do something more drastic about you. Is there really anything left that you can do that'll save yourself now? <laughs> there is one thing I can do, actually. You already know that I'm the daughter of the HR manager, right? That also means that my dad and I have been friends with the CEO of this company for a long time now. And not just friends, but best friends. <laughs> And now that I think about him, he seems to be interested in me a bit more than the other women here. So perhaps, I'm sure if I go ask him to do me a favor, he'll be able to let me come back into work and tell everyone to act as though I never did anything wrong. <laughs> oh, you think so? What? You have nothing more you can do to me now. Well, if that's your plan, then please stop talking to me anymore. You should be running to the CEO and begging him to put all of this behind the company, right? Well, then I think I will go do that. But when you try and apologize to me later, know that it'll be too late for your old butt. <laughs> go right ahead then, Jane. I have no plans to apologize to you now, so you have no other choice. <laughs> Mr. CEO, I really need your help. What's going on? I've heard you're supposed to stay home from work a while, right? And I'm at home right now, so don't worry. But actually, I'd really like to talk with you in person. Right now I'm in the middle of an investigation. And that investigation is into you. So when we come around to the point where we'd like to question you, you can talk with me all you want face to face then. I don't want to. The only person I can trust now is you, so please listen to me. Can you please let me come in and talk with you in person today? I guess I can't say no. I'll listen to what you have to say to me. I haven't been up to anything wrong like everyone else wants you to believe. They're all just trying to get me fired. You think that they are trying to set you up? Can you tell me in a little bit more detail why you think that might be? You know that one old lady, Irene, that I've been working with, right? Ah, I do happen to know her. She's been trying to set me up for a while now and has been telling all the other employees lies to make me look bad and like I've been harassing them. Why would you think that Irene would do something like that to you? 
She is completely jealous of me. She is jealous of the fact that I'm a young and beautiful woman, and I am able to get all my work here done and am congratulated for it. That old ugly hag has been jealous of everything I've achieved here, and that's why she wants to take me down. Did you just say it, old ugly hag? She is only in her early 60s yet, so I really don't think you can start calling her anything like that. But, but I'm being serious about her being ugly and old, right? And the fact that she's been hired here to work for this company when she's that old is odd to me. I bet there's something going on, like some crazy relationship she has with one of the higher-ups that got her this job here. No doubt about it. I want you to start investigating that woman instead of me, because there has to be something wrong with her. There is no real need for that. Why not? Because I happen to know that woman more than anybody else within this company. What do you mean by that? That woman happens to be my mother. What? She happens to be my mother, and not only that. She had been working for this company a long time, but happened to take around 10 years off from work. I you're lying, right? I'm not lying. But after those 10 years of taking time off, she came to me and asked to work for the company again. And so I went to all the other managers and directors and told them I'd be bringing her back on. Why did you think you had to hire someone like her to come back and work here? Well, I never knew about why she wanted to start working again at the time. Pa you know how about on our internal webpage we have a forum set up for employees to express their ideas and opinions about the company, right? Well, on there you can see a lot of the time there are employees who want to talk about problems they see at work. After my mom left the company 10 years ago, she made sure to continue reading through the forums to see what everyone working here was talking about. As she would read through all the different comments and stories, she always noticed that the people who were complaining about problems at work always happened to be talking about you recently. Th those are all made up stories about me on there. They don't have to put their names on those forums so they can say whatever they want with no repercussions. And that's why my mom thought she'd come back in and see what was going on with you. And after she started working here again for a couple weeks, she realized what everyone was saying on those forums were true about you. Of course, after she told me about you, I took the time to look into myself and realized that what my mom was saying about you was true as well. At the moment, we don't know about all the things you've done and to who, but over time, we'll be able to find all of that out. And so as long as this investigation is ongoing, you are here to stay at your house and wait for a verdict from us here. You kept the fact that you were the mother of the CEO hidden from me, didn't you? I kept that hidden from you? You never asked me about myself, and that's why I never told you anything about my connection to him. <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? And, had I told you about my relationship to him, you would have never shown me your true self in front of me like you've been doing, right? <laughs> it's all because of you doing that to me now that I'm in hot water with everyone! And I'm going to keep saying that you asked for all of this by being a little prick at work. You really hate me that much? You must really be that jealous of the fact that I'm so beautiful and young that you're willing to try and ruin my life. What are you going on about? You think that I'm doing all of this because I have some kind of personal beef with you? I thought of all the reasons you might be doing this to me and that was the most likely reason. Well, you have it completely wrong. I've done all of this to protect my family. Protect your family? The only family you have in this company is that CEO, right? Of course, Brandon is my son. But when I say family like that, I'm also talking about everyone that works in this company for my son. Huh? Is your head that freaking screwed up? You think that any of the employees in this company are like family to some old hag like you? Freaking idiot. I'm not just some employee, and most of the people in this company aren't just other employees to me either. I am the woman that founded this company long ago, and have been a part of it ever since. What? You, you were the CEO then? That's right. And ten years ago, I gave this company to my son so that he could run it as the new CEO. And since I'm both the founder of this company and my son is now the current CEO, I see everyone that comes and works here as my family. And it seems that you have been using a lot of my family in ways all to make yourself look good and hurt them. 
I am not going to just sit around and let you do things like that to my family any longer. Well, I should be a part of your family as well then. No, you are not. I do not see you as my family anymore, nor have I ever. All you are to me is a thorn in the side of my family that needs to be plucked out before you form a serious infection. I've already spoken with my son about all of this, and he's going to have you fired from this company for me. F fired That's right. I think having you completely removed from this company is the only way to ensure the safety of my family. <laughs> well, if that's what you want to do, then go right ahead. Oh, it looks like you're coming to your senses now. What are you talking about? You must really have no clue of what you're doing right now. <laughs> what do you mean by that, then? Listen, when it comes to larger companies like this, it's really hard to just get away with firing someone like that so easily. If you do have me fired, then I can claim you let me go without good reason, and I'll be able to get a huge court settlement out of that company. So if you really do decide to fire me from here, I'll get myself a lawyer and come after you all. And when I'm done, I'll make sure I have every last penny I can take from you all. If that's what you really want happening to your little company, then go right ahead and fire me. Hmm? I see. I see. Huh. It seems that you have no knowledge of the law regarding this, so you'd better shut up about me right now before I act against you all. Do you mind if I ask you one more question then? What is it? I'll give you an answer to whatever you have to ask me. Discord. Do you happen to know the definition of this word? What? Why are you asking me a question like that? I'm just trying to teach you the meaning of this word, in case you don't know it. I don't really care to learn words from you, especially about a word like that. I already know the meaning of it anyway, so just go ahead and tell me what you're trying to get at here. This is all very strange of you. Because on that exam that everyone takes to get into this company, there's a question talking about this word and what it means to the company. Huh? Seriously, what is this all about? I'm saying that if you really want to brag all the time about how you scored a top score on that exam, then you should be able to tell me what that word means to you and this company. I mean, you gave the right answer to it back when you took the test, right? Oh, come on! I... I just happened to forget about it is all. Are you really going to tell me you forgot about one of the most important words to this company? Then I guess I'll give you the same problem that was given on that exam. Again. And I want to see what your answer is. No, no way. I don't have time to sit here all day taking your stupid test. Really? I mean, it's not like you're working or anything today, right? <laughs> well, I guess that is true, but... Actually, I've gotten a copy of this test from the manager of the HR department, your dad, to go over with you. I went right up to him asking for this test so that I could question you about it, and he handed it right over like a good boy. Also, I made sure to have your dad look up all the answers you gave on this test back when you were entering this company. And during that whole situation with him, I asked your dad about this test and about yourself as well. You... you were questioning him? And luckily for me, your dad was able to tell me the truth about you and him. He told me that in order to get you a top score on that test, he gave you all the answers so that you could just fill them in. You... you're lying! No, I'm not. You happened to get into this company by giving false information and cheating on an entrance exam, so the only choice we have left now is firing you for that. Wait, wait! I promise I'll change my ways and never do anything like I've been doing again. It's too late for that now. In your place, we have plenty of other employees here that'll do your work for you. <laughs> Jeez, Jane finally shut the hell up and started telling me the truth about everything. Is that right? Well, thank God for that. I've been shocked by all of this, though. I never knew something like this was going to happen in my company. I guess my concerns with all the profits we're making here outweighed my care for those that were being harassed by her. Well, I was the one that made you the new CEO, and you've only been at it for ten years now, so I can take some responsibility for you not noticing something like that. And I was the one who told you to make sure the company was strong and profitable for the sake of the family, so you definitely did not fail me there. But even still, something like that was not okay. That's true. You can't just say you care for your employees, but you have to properly show them that you're there for all of them as well. I'm sure if something like this happens again in the company, people will begin to lose faith in you. Yeah, I'm going to do better from now on. 
Don't get too worked up about it, though. I know you, and I know that you'll be just fine managing the company for as long as I'm alive. After that, having found out that she was hired into the company based off of an exam that she cheated on, Jane was fired. And at the same time this was all happening, her father was able to hear back from every employee she ever harassed and bossed around at work. As of right now, at a time where Jane should be taking responsibility for all she'd done, she's turned on her dad and started to blame him for everything. And because of what he'd done to get her into the company, Fred's wife gave him a letter asking for divorce, and the next day, he was out of their house. One would think that Jane got off easy after blaming her dad and getting rid of him, but after finding herself a new job, she'd learned that it's not as easy being an employee as she was led to believe. After leaving that second company for what she claims was them working her too much, she was left with one option, and that was working at a nearby gas station to her house. But even still, she had little work experience of her own, even in doing simple tasks while working at a place like that. She began to blame other employees and managers there for her failures and mistakes, and that led to pretty much everyone there hating her guts. She tried plenty of times to chase after her dad, asking for him to help her, but he only continues to ignore her for what she'd done to him. At this point, she's left regretting everything she'd ever done that landed her in a place like that. Had she only took her job and life more seriously and not used her position as daughter of the manager of HR as her way of threatening others, she might not have to work in a place where everyone hates her. As for myself and Brandon, I've gone ahead and started to work a little bit every week now until they find a new person to take Jane's spot. As I've already done the job I wanted to do, getting rid of her. And Brandon has started to put even more of his time into catching up with all his employees and making sure that everyone is happy and that things like before can never happen again. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.